See, the question says for any two vectors, vector A and vector B, we always have modulus of A plus B vector is less than equal to modulus A modulus B. That's the triangle inequality. Now, with this is what we need to prove here. And uh, let's say I'm going to prove here. I'm, I'll write A plus B vector modulus square. So what do you know? You know that uh, that is A modulus whole square is what a dot a that's what i'm going to use here so i can write this as a plus b dot a plus b now check here what is when we multiply this that is a dot a a, a with b that is a dot b plus b dot a and then plus b dot b now using the same property, what I can write uh, a dot a as a modulus whole square. As you know that a dot b and b dot a is commutative. That means uh, dot product are equal a dot b same as b dot a. I can write this as a dot b. And uh, this I can write as b modulus whole square. Next, what I'm going to do is to replace this a dot b. Let me write out what is uh, a dot b can be written as if i write a dot b it is what a magnitude b magnitude cos theta now since uh, what do you know that uh, this is modulus right okay let me first replace this so this we are getting as what this is a magnitude plus and as I said, I'm going to replace this a dot b here. So I'll write this as 2 and replacing a dot b with this. So this plus modulus b whole square. Now what next uh, <clears throat> is cos theta? You should also remember that that should also be in modulus because we are finding the modulus. Now, what we know that cos theta is the value of cos theta is what? Cos theta is less than or equal to 1, minus 1, and greater than or equal to. It varies from minus 1 to 1. But we are looking for modulus cos theta, so it has to be less than 1. Now, what I'll do next, let me make some space over here. So let's say I begin with writing this. That is A magnitude B, A modulus B modulus 2. As you know, say if I write this as equal to this only. Now, what you know that if these two things are equal and we have, if you are multiplying with some number, which is what? Less than, this is what? Less than equal to 1. So it's a, uh, it's a fraction which is uh, greater than zero but less than one. That means if you multiply it on the left hand side with a number which is a fraction which is fraction which is a, a proper fraction that is either one or less than one, then it will be satisfy this inequality. Okay. Now in the next step, what I'll do, I'll be adding a modulus, b modulus, whole square on both sides. That means on the left hand side, I added a modulus keeping everything same, that is plus 2a modulus b a modulus cos theta and adding b modulus as well, whole square on the left hand side. So I'm going to do the right hand side. So it would not change the inequality as you know that uh, on adding same numbers, inequality does not get reversed. Plus this is b modulus whole square or say first let me write out a modulus whole square plus b modulus whole square now from here what i can see I'll check here the lhs of this is what this which i can replace with this so i'll write this as this is what uh, a modulus a vector plus b vector whole square and this is less than equal to applying the identity i can say this is what a modulus plus b modulus whole square now, cancelling this square, what we get? 
a vector plus b vector is less than this is modulus less than a modulus plus b modulus so that's how we'll do this question